Hello friends, welcome to Geology Concepts. In this video, we are going to discuss a jam MSQ question. Right? This is based on deformation and metamorphism. So let's read the question. It says, a schematic deformation represented by D and metamorphism M, time map of metamorphic belt is shown below. So here's this map or you can say it's like a graph that depicts the deformation and metamorphism happening in a regional area through a belt uh, through a through time right in, in a regional metamorphic belt now it is saying the belt recorded two phases of deformation as you can see here there are two phases of deformation d1 and d2 right and uh, two phases of uh, uh, cystosities s1 and s2 and metamorphism m1 and m2 so the s1 cystosity is related to d1 means first deformation s2 is related to d2 which is the second deformation in time m1 and m2 are two metamorphic phases now the metamorphic mineral that was stable during these events are shown by the lines here just if you see muscovite it was stable you see biotite biotite was stable during uh, m1 m2 so this is the stability of the minerals during these events okay now on basis of this information we have to see which of the following statement is or are correct so the statement says m1 and m2 events refer to regional and contact metamorphism s1 cystosity developed as a granulation cleavage garnet grew syntectonic with d1 and andalusite grew during the vanning phase of d2 now to answer this question we have to look at the graph the the graph that is shown here so if we focus here if you talk about muscovite biotite chloride and quartz now these minerals were present throughout the time irrespective of which event was it right muscovite was present through m1 m2 d1 d2 biotite chloride so was quartz right the change that we see is in the garnet and andalusite mineral now if you look at garnet garnet has started to appear in the d1 deformation phase during the d1 means as d1 was going on the intensity of the deformation was increasing and so at that time garnet starts to develop right and as it starts to go down d1 when it starts to wax off or starts vanning Vanning means to become less and less effective, right? You see, garnet is not there anymore after this point. Right? Then we see in the M2 phase of metamorphism, there is development of andalusite. Okay? Now, andalusite is a polymorph of uh, aluminosilicate, right? like kyanite, silimonite, and andalusite. Andalusite is something which is stable at uh, medium to high, uh, high temperature but low pressure conditions. Right. If you have seen the PT graph, this is P, this is T. So it's something like this. This is kyanite, this is silimonite, and this is andalusite. So in the low pressure region and temperature, we find andalusite. Okay. So now what the question is saying? Let's look at the question. The first option says M1 and M2 even refer to regional and contact metamorphism. So M1 is regional and let's say M2 is contact metamorphism. Now regional uh, metamorphism is related with the uh, deformation phase because there are regional tectonics, regional forces that are involved. So M1 is regional, yes this is true because there is deformation and how can we say that M2 is contact metamorphism. Now see contact metamorphism only deals with immediate high temperatures right temperature becoming high but there is no noticeable or not a very directed pressure in that region the pressure is from in the low regions only right so deformation stopped here means tectonic forces stopped here and then you have this metamorphic phase which can be due to intrusion of some dike intrusion of some magmatic material magma near the surface that can cause sudden increase in temperature but there is no regional deformation that is going on here you see there is no deformation that we see in this region and to support this they, we can also see that andalusite is present here now contact metamorphism if you look at contact metamorphism it is developed in this area of the pt graph right 
where you find albite hornfels, right? Hornblende hornfels, pyroxene horn, hornfels, and sandinite series. So, what it tells us this endolocyte is present. That means this is contact metamorphism, and there is no deformation forces also, right? So there is no direct deformation. It's just temperature that is uh, doing the metamorphism here. So temperature is the agent of metamorphism here. So this statement looks correct. M1 refers to the regional deformation and M2 refers to contact metamorphism respectively. Now if you look at statement B, it says the S1 chistosity developed as a crenulation cleavage. Now S1 is here. Now this is the first deformation phase and this is the first chistosity that is developing in the sedimentary rock. Now if you know the definition of crenulation cleavage, it is the deformation of already existing foliation. So if there is a foliation that is already existing and there is some force, uh, there is some directional pressure that is related to it, then there can be external um, or you can say there can be superimposed granulation that can develop in this. Right? That we call as granulation cleavage when mineral realign means already deformed minerals or already foliated minerals because of deformation gets again because of next phase of deformation get realigned or gets realigned is called as granulation cleavage folding of already existing foliation but if you look at d1 here or s1 cystosity this is the first cystosity that is developing in the rock so there cannot be a pre-existing foliation this is the first foliation that is developing so this will be a cystosity but it is it will not be a granulation cleavage because granulation is of the folding of an already existing cystosity so b is not possible b is wrong Agar yaan, if this would have been S2, then this would have been correct because S2 cystosity is after S1. So in S2, S1 can get folded. So that is like granulation cleavage or develop a cleavage in the already existing foliation. So this is wrong. Garnet grew with syntectonic with D1. Now if you look at Garnet, Garnet starts developing during the, as, as the intensity of the deformation was increasing from where Garnet appeared in this. So it, it was not pre-existing, right? So it appeared during this deformation. So that's why this option is correct. Garnet grew syntectonic with D1. Now last is endolocyte grew during the vanning phase of D2. Now see, this is the vanning phase when the intensity decreases. This is the vanning phase of D2. And during this time, there was no endolocyte. Endolocyte is completely developed after this deformation has gone to zero and it is developed during the m2 phase of metamorphism it has nothing to do with the vanning phase of d2 because during this time there was no endolocyte if you draw a line like this in the vanning phase there is no endolocyte in this region mm -hmm. right endolocyte is in this m2 phase or m2 uh, event when second phase of metamorphism started so endolocyte grew during the m2 metamorphic event so d is also wrong it, it is not vanning phase of d2 it is it is in the m2 so by looking at the graph and with little bit basic knowledge of what are cannulation cleavages we can solve this question easily right and uh, that's how you have to go about it you have to look at the graph very carefully and then see the options reject the options that are absolutely wrong so that that is the best way to go about these question right you have to look at the graph very carefully, what they are trying to ask, right? And basic, if you know the basic, this, if you know what is cannulation cleavage, then you can get this question, get this question correct. But if there is a doubt in what is cannulation cleavage, because cleavage will be developed in the S1 chestosity also. But cannulation is when they are on the existing foliation. Now, S1, in S1, there cannot be an existing foliation, or this is the first phase of cystosity, S1, right? The cannulation cleavage will always be S2 or higher, S2, S3. In, in these uh, phases or in these histocities, you can have cannulation cleavage, but not in the first one because there is no already existing foliation. I think you get the point. So that's what we have to see in this question. So I hope this helps you to understand how to solve MSQ question and, you know, work on your basic uh, definitions. You should know what is cannulation cleavage, what is... Uh, SC foliation, right? What is C1, C2? So, what are stress markers? So, these things will help you to understand these questions, okay? So, thank you very much. Have a good day.